Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to convert a number pi array to JSON format using Python. JSON, JavaScript Object Notation, is a lightweight data interchange format that's easy for humans to read and write and easy for machines to parse and generate. Hashtag 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 prerequisites. Make sure you have the required libraries installed. You need to have NumPy and JSON, which is part of Python's standard library, installed. You can install NumberPy using pip if you haven't already. Hashtag 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 step 1, import libraries. First, we need to import the necessary libraries. Hashtag 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 step 2, create a number pi array. Next, let's create a number pi array. For this example, we will create a simple 2D array. Hashtag 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 step 3, convert the number pi array to a list. Number pi arrays are not directly serializable to JSON. Therefore, we need to convert the number pi array to a list first. You can use the dot tallest method of a number pi array to achieve this. Hashtag 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 step 4, convert the list to JSON. Now that we have the number pi array in list format, we can use the JSON library to convert it to JSON format. Hashtag 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 complete code example. Here is the complete code combining all the steps above. Hashtag 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 output. When you run the complete code, you should see the following output. Hashtag 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 conclusion. In this tutorial, you learned how to convert a number pi array into JSON format. The key steps involve converting the array to a list using the dot tallest method and then using JSON dot dumps to serialize the list to JSON. This approach can be applied to any number pi array, whether it is 1D, 2D, or higher dimensional. Feel free to experiment with different types of number pi arrays and see how the conversion to JSON works.